before starting my day, I need to go get some juice, even if I'm not going to be driving my car all day, because something happened last night, well, early this morning. I never thought that I would think that Electrify America would be my savior. Oh man, yeah, never thought that I would have to rely on Electrify America this much. Due to the fact that most of the Chatamos in the area are no longer working, including the ones here at Electrify America, this adapter is definitely come in handy. But this isn't an adapter video. Trust me. I am extremely thankful that I do have this thing. I did go ahead and move from the 350 kilowatt charger just due to the fact there's probably going to be another car that comes in that can charge at those speeds. Chatham over there broke. This was the only one open. This one here finally opened up. So that is a 150. It's a little bit more my speed. That one over there is a 50, but it's CCS. But it was only charged, that one I was at was only charging at 19 kilowatts for some reason. This one here is amping up. The 150, I usually get some pretty good speeds. High 60s, low 70s. Whereas so far, every time I tried a 350 kilowatt with the adapter, it stays right around 20 kilowatts, which is weird. I don't understand that. But it works. But it seems like optimum. Your optimum charge comes from the 150 kilowatt machines. At least for the Nissan with the adapter. See, it's it, this one here is climbing up a lot better. Get to 70, there you go. 72, 73. That's about all I'm going to get is for speeds is 73. So what is going on today? It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I just woke up, ran over to Circle K, grabbed myself a soda pop, a Sprite to be exact, and uh, came over to charge. Not exactly sure what's going on. I'm waiting for a phone call from work to see if I'm going to be working all night again tonight. If not, I think I'm just going to enjoy this charge go home, park the car with a okay charge, and um, maybe hit the swimming pool. I'm not exactly sure what's going on today. It's weird when you work all night and don't work during the daytime, thinking that you're going to work the that night, but sometimes they don't call you and say, hey, we need you. So you can never really make plans. Like if I wanted to do a quick little road trip, like I'm going to do this weekend, uh, you really can't do it. You just kind of got to hang around just in case. All right. Don't go by those hours. It's not going to take that long to charge. But I am still getting 70 kilowatts. So I figure about 15 minutes and I'll be out of here. That 1.5 hours to 50% is not accurate. Like I said in the other videos, just due to the fact the adapter is stopping the car from knowing where the juice is coming from or something, I don't know. But the computer is not showing the proper times when you use the adapter. So if you do get one, don't freak out. Okay, charge is done. Ugh. Let's go see if we can battle this heat. I am not kidding, it is hot. I know the thermometer on the car says it's 87 degrees, but with the humidity level, you just feel it. Just happy that it's only 87 degrees. It is such a hot day out. The dog is losing her mind. feel like I'm in a concert venue. Look at all those outhouses. 
but I am not. I had to leave the house and drive all night after playing with the dog for a little bit and drive up here to Georgia. Look at the peanuts growing over there, right by my truck. A big field of peanuts. One good thing about it, it's so early in the morning, don't need air conditioning. It's the first time in a month too if you're gonna get it, add beans Taco Bell comes up with some pretty creative menu items well I'm not gonna be really able to get out and do too much today just due to the fact I'm home just got back from work but something kind of cool is going on I am heading over to the Walmart right now to hit the electrify America not to charge, because I already charged in this video, but my son has a 2013 Nissan Leaf, and I want to test this adapter out on his car. That should be interesting. I know it works on a 2021, but will it work on a 2013? And let's give it a shot. Maybe I won't be able to test it because it is raining at the moment, and I don't really want to test the adapter in the rain. It's a light sprinkle. If the rain stops before I pull in here, I'll do it. But uh, dang it, I really wanted to test this adapter on the 2013. He should be around here somewhere, but everybody's walking around with umbrellas. If there was canopies, this is why there should be canopies at the charging stations in Florida. There he is. He's not able to charge though because the Chatamo is not working. That's my old car right there. That's my old car. Look at, look at, I, when I gave him the car to start driving, the wheels never looked that way. But, oh well. It is what it is. But it's still driving, right? Yeah. All right. Still anywhere between 60 to 70 miles charged. Oh, really? Oh, the rain's starting to stop. You want to charge it real fast? Uh, Chatamo's yeah. broke here. And, like, if you wanted to pull on the other side over there, I got an adapter. Ah, oh, you're good. What? Yeah, we got 21 miles. That's more than I've been home. All right, so you charge mostly at home still? Yep. Ah, uh, cool. All right, well, let me, let me get some stuff out of the car for you, and I'll charge. Well, I was dropping off a camera for my son on his YouTube channel. He wanted to use a gimbal, so I was bringing my idle cam over for him to use. I figured he would say, yeah, go ahead and give me a charge real fast. I was going to do it. I was going to plug his car and let him get some juice, but he still has like 20% and he only lives like about four miles from here. And ever since I gave him the car, he has only charged at home. Sometimes he'll do a quick little trip to Tampa or something like that and charge. But I would say 95% of his charging are at home, but I really did want to test out the charger, but I'm really glad I didn't. Actually broke. That 350 is broke. That Chatamo 50, and the CCS on that is broke. At the moment, this is the only charger working. So we would have had to drive around and test chargers out just to make sure it was working on his car. But uh, he left, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick charge. I'm at a 350 kilowatt machine. It's starting off kind of slow at 19 kilowatts, but it should ramp up in the 70s. 
So I might as well get a little bit of juice and make the drive worth my wild. It's just kind of sucks. You plan on shooting one specific type of video. You get up in the morning, start doing stuff, and then you have to go to, you find out you got, you get called in to go to work. And then that takes up most of your day because you have to drive 500 miles in a truck. Then you get home and figure, okay, well, I'm going to continue on with the video. What can, what can I do with the video now? I know. My son drives a Nissan Leaf. Let's do a quick video charging his car. And that is a fail. Everything today is a fail. Except for the adapter. It, it, it's working. And no more dots of rain are happening to the car because the clouds are starting to lighten up a little bit. So I guess uh, some stuff is in my favor.